Hi, this is a video on these uh, Precore P82 uh, console screens on how to get into the back end for clubs or for end users as well who have these uh, Precore brand name. These Precore consoles, this one being the black uh, plastic surround, this means it's a P82 console with the larger screen. Uh, the older version which has the same sort of size screen in a sort of a grey plastic cover around the side here. That means it's a P80 if it's grey or it's P82 if it's black. So to get into the or maintenance mode for uh, clubs or for users, what you have to do is you press and hold the volume down button and then you've also got to press, while you're holding volume down, press channel up, channel down, channel down and channel up again. Um, so what we do here, let's just do it here. If I press and hold volume down, keep holding it, press channel up, channel down, channel down, channel up, and then you'll come into this um, screen here. If it doesn't work the first time when you try it or a couple of times, then just keep trying it again. Just keep pressing holding the volume, keep the volume down, then you're pressing channel up, channel down, channel down, channel up, and then let go of everything, and then you should come up with this keypad here. So what we need to press in here is five six five one five six five, and then hit OK, and then here we are in the, in the back end here. So from the start here we've got the about, which gives you all the information. You do have actually event logs on issues we've had with the machine or faults that have come up. Uh, so you can look at that. This may help the uh, distributors or the your local service technician. Uh, know what's wrong with the machine or have a look at this so it's good to actually um, to either save this you can save these to USBs the event log or even take a screenshot so it'll just show us the latest faults that are on the screen um, hit the back button there and then uh, the CPA error log is just another error log we've got for the uh, for the upper and lower uh, control boards on these and this will give you a few different varying um, information you can clear it. it's probably best to save it let your technicians clear it things like that with these error logs because they're good information for us to work out what's going wrong if it's an intermittent fault hit the back button there uh, this is the console which is the console serial number for the actual display unit here and then the lower serial number is the serial number for the base unit this is actually an efx an elliptical so it gives us the two serial numbers there if it has been registered online correctly you're going to have all this other information here friendly name for the elliptical this is in a club obviously so it's got elliptical number one because they've got three ellipticals here so we know what elliptical is at fault when we have elliptical one two and three got the location of it and then we know it's online because of all this has been registered properly we hit the back button uh, equipment usage this gives you the K's and hours mainly on these machines as you use them so if you uh, uh, your technician would normally write down this these um, uh, the distance in kilometers and the hours of usage just so you can keep a, re a reference for how old the machine is or what parts may be worn out there's certain uh, kilometer readings we have where we can replace certain things like drive belts um, even in running belts and treadmills things like that these P82 consoles are the same console that's fitted to a treadmill, to a, an EFX elliptical, to an upright bike, recumbent bike, uh, the AMT, the Adaptive Motion Trainer by Precore as well. So the settings on how to get in the back here are all the same with all of them. Uh, so that's a bit of information there on the usage. Hit the back button. Maintenance mode here. I have only just refreshed this, this one on this machine, but this number here, next maintenance due, if you reset it, it resets to 250 hours uh, when you reset it. If I came up to this machine and I haven't already just reset it before I made this video, it might have, say, 47 hours on it. That means there's 47 hours left of the 250 hours before it's due for a maintenance, which means just a quick look over, or maybe a vacuum inside the back covers and check there's no clunk and no grinding noises on the machine and also prompts to do a screen calibration on the console which I'll show you in a minute as well. So if this was a lower number to reset it, you just hit on that 250 hours, if it was you know, 43 hours, whatever it is, then just hit the reset button here, then it will just reset to 250 hours and that just means that the blue status light on the back of the machine, on the EFXs or on the front on a, on a pre-core treadmill 
would be flashing if it's due for a service. If it's flashing blue, it's due for a service. If it's flashing like an orange or yellow colour, then there has been a fault with the machine and it's either needs to be, the machine needs to be turned off and turned back on again to reset it through the computer system or you may also need to call a, a service technician out to have a look at that fault that may have come up. Uh, so if we hit the back button again here, system settings in here, you've got a lot of different settings. You've got to be careful what you're pressing in here because you are changing parameters on these consoles. So you know, connectivity, just make sure you, you're sure of what you're pressing before you press it. Here we've got wired and whatnot, you can change to wireless here, so you just hit um, wireless and then hit OK, but this one's already all, all reset. The previous system is the online tracking system for your workouts and whatnot. If you register with them, you can track your workout. Um, and this website needs to be, or well, the console itself needs to be pointed to this website here, na.preva.com and then it will, uh, with the IP address, it will register all your information through Priva as you work out. Uh, that's connectivity display, this one here you can change. The main thing we've changed here, obviously, if, uh, being an American brand name, it'll come as US standard, so we need to change that to metric, hit OK, and then that's how you would get out of, um, uh, get it out of miles and put it into kilometers, or if you want to change it back from kilometers back to miles as well, you can do that. Um, Standby mode, this means how long the screen will, will, will be in the standby mode before it goes into sleep mode or the screen will go a darker colour so it can serve battery power or can serve a power from the wall. Uh, so you can change these as needed. Hit the back button. TV settings, this one's already all tuned. This is how you tune uh, your TV channels and whatnot. This one's already, already uh, done. Um, extensive scan is what you would do to scan for the um, channels you need and then all the channels will come up channel guide and this is all the channels here that are, are there through the channel guide you can rescan for more channels so if the machine's brand new you'd scan for channels here as well and then you can delete some double ups these guys do actually have double ups here of the same channel so what you would normally do is you'd highlight one um, say like this one here and then you could hit delete and then it will remove the channel uh, from the list and now you've only got the one channel there so you go through that what you can do if you are in a club if you tune one of these P82 consoles or P80 consoles or even the P62 console which is the smaller screen version of the pre-core um, if you tune one so it's right get all your channels right on one of them all the names right as well I delete all the, all the duplicates then what you can do is you can copy the TV channels to a USB and in the electricals here, it's in the front here, the USB, you plug it just a blank USB in there, making sure the USB is blank and then you can uh, copy the channels to that. Um, I'll show you just in a sec how to get back to that to do that. So we hit the back button, down here within this same TV settings, down below here at the bottom, you click on this, if you had a USB plugged in here, it would show you up here um, import uh, from USB or import to USB and import from USB you just click whichever way you want to go so if you've tuned one console first uh, you plug the USB in you uh, save to USB which will be the first one and then when you go to all your subsequent um, um, consoles you you plug a USB in go to the same TV settings and then you click on the uh, uh, save from USB so, you, so you're getting the TV channels from the USB and then saving it into the console itself here uh, just making sure it's a blank USB before you do start because uh, it'll get confused with the information on the USB because uh, it is saving all of that it will also transfer your um, kilometers to if you've already changed from, from um, miles to kilometers it'll save that information as well when you change over so hit back, that's all the TV settings there if you're having troubles there. Audio settings, this is just the default volume levels that it will start at. So you can change this level if you want to start the volume at a certain level. You have got the headphone jack here, um, which that means that'll mean that it'll just start on a particular level of volume. Uh, workout limits, here you can just set, if, if you want people not to be on the machine for longer periods of time, you can set a certain time and it will come up with an alarm to tell you that um, uh, to get off or your session's finished or your workout's finished. 
uh, to to do a, a quicker turnover of, of um, users on the machines. So that's workout limits, and then the USB is here as well. There are some extra settings in here that your technician may be able to uh, log into the back end um, and do some extra more settings, but that's something that's that's um, held for service technicians to do. Um, so if you're trying to fault find and it, it won't work, you're using this 565 code to get into maintenance mode. Uh, you'll have to call your local service technician and they'll come out and um, and do some extra settings in here, which which you'll need. Uh, for connectivity to connect to the internet um, or for extra fault finding um, as well. If we go back, uh, the other main thing I'd like to show you here is system settings. Uh, connectivity. Oh, no, so that's the same thing. Yeah, okay, so there is a, um, if you're having problems with your touch screen where you pushing a button and it's not pushing it like say if I push the display here and rather than hit display it would end up hitting the one below it if I'm touching the display line but then it ends up choosing TV settings then that means your touch screen is off if you call your local um, provider uh, or uh, pre-call service technician they will be able to come out and uh, log in and um, do a screen calibration and maybe line up the, the pixels on the screen here so that then the touch screen will actually work so when you're you're pressing a certain part of the screen it's going to press that part for you um, so I hope that helps with information on just this P pre-core uh, P82 console in particular but this same code works on the uh, P62 the smaller screen the P80 and also the P82 which uh, just to recap what you'll be doing is press and holding the volume down button keep holding that and then you'll press channel up channel down channel down channel up and then you get into the back end uh, with that this code is for or the way to get in is for the uh, p62s and the p82s these black surround plastics if you are trying to get in with a p80 console what you'll have is your uh, channel up and down buttons on the right here your volume buttons will actually be here as well, volume up and down will be here, and then your pause button will be over here. So what you need to do with those gray P80 screens is press and hold the pause button on the left, and then what you would do is you'd press channel up, and then the volume down button will be here, and then you press volume up and then channel down. So you're like you're making an X, or an X pattern. So you'd press and holding pause over here on the P80 console, the gray colored one. Press and hold pause, you press channel up, volume down, volume up, channel down, doing that X, and then you'll get in the same back end, and then you can put in that 5651565 code, and then you can get into the back there and do some basic settings, uh, which may help you, or also fault finding with the error codes as well. Thanks for your time.